Hey guys, it's Young Wealth. Now today I got some bad news for people that live in the short term, people that cannot hold for long stretches of time. That when it comes to ICP in the short term, right, things are possibly gonna get worse. Now the reason I say things are possibly gonna get worse is because when I look at Bitcoin, it looks like Bitcoin's in a solid downtrend and I don't think we're going to stabilize for this until around a month and a half from now. So it's like to the point where I do feel like we have a few more months of bleeding in the markets. And when you look at the fear and greed index in the markets, right, it's actually going to the, the fear with speed. Like it's going to the fierce um, index of the sector with speed. So it's to the point where like, I believe that we can possibly see a $10 ICP and you have to understand that if we see a $10 ICP, just best believe I'm going to have some money on the side to buy because ICP is what I really need. So it's to the point where like me and you watching this video today, me and you on this video, right? We're not stressing about ICP going to ten dollars. We're trying to find out how to make more money so we can buy the dip because we know in the long term all this petty price action does not vi does not matter. Repeat, all this petty price action, it don't really it don't really hold no no weight. To some people, this petty price action controls their life. They'll be thinking, oh wait, my bag's down 10%. Do I sell right now? I, I, I want to panic. But for me and you, it's to the point where like, for the ICP investor that's smart and does his own research, he realizes this, this has always been a long-term play. This is not a coin that is going to go up a thousand percent in a week this month. It's not one of them coins. It's a coin that's going to slowly creep up over this long term, over this next year or so. Right. So it's to the point where like, I believe that it, things might have to get worse before they get better. And the reason I say this is because when we go on pumps like this, when we see ICP go from like, it went from, let's just go on a yearly, right? We could go on a yearly. I can show you, right? It went from around two dollars ninety right all the way to twelve dollars okay so that's like a six x okay a little less than a six x but at the peaks that's over a six x right but as i was saying right it went from it did over a six x right in a year so things have to definitely cool off for a second and it's definitely the it's definitely a time where things have to get a bit more red because it's balance in the market like for every wave going up there has to be a wave going down now we have consolidated pretty strong above the like i want to say above the ten dollar range we've consolidated pretty strong we have a lot of support before the i mean before the ten dollar range we have a lot of support so it's to the point where to hit ten dollars we need to see a catastrophic dump when it comes to Bitcoin and I do feel like that catastrophic dump is on its way and the reason I keep saying it's on its way because when I look at the economy today I don't see enough catalyst for Bitcoin to go on a bull run this year I'm sorry we was in a bull market but when when it comes to Bitcoin right I don't see enough catalyst for it to actually blow past that $73,000 all time high not yet not yet anyway I do, be, do believe like in this next year or so that would be easy work right but when it comes to this next coming like seven months i do believe we have a lot of consolidation on the way a lot of downside on the way and i do believe we are gonna actually create resistance when it comes to the sixty thousand range we've created resistance when it comes to seventy three thousand because we did not break past that we needed to stay above the sixty eight thousand dollar mark which we did not do so it's like i do believe things are gonna get worse for icp things are going to get worse for bitcoin in terms of price action but you can look at it oppositely right you can say that things are actually getting better because i can buy for cheaper so for some people things are getting worse because they're looking at it like oh i'm making unrealized losses right now but for some people they're looking at icp thinking okay we are a dip of four percent things are actually getting better in my eyes why because it's allowed me to buy icp at a discount so technically things are getting better guys if you're a long-term investor a long-term holder now there's one thing i want to mention right because the forbes actually put icp on their blockchain um, good for nothing blockchains and ICP was like third 
So if, uh, they're saying ICP is the, th the third most good for nothing blockchain, which is an absolute lie. If you are wondering why I think that's a lie, it's because it's to the point where like ICP is dealing with a decentralized computer. ICP is dealing with smart contracts used by like with involving AI. ICP also can solve this trillion dollar problem when it comes to IT and the IT industry. So it's to the point where like, I do believe they did that so people stop buying the coin. I do believe the Forbes came out with good good for nothing blotches and they put ICP there so people get scared of buying ICP. So I do believe ICP is one of them coins that is actually going to perform very well in this next year or so. Even in this next decade, I do believe it will stand the test of time because, guys, a lot of these tokens that we see right now, they're not going to be here in this next 10 years. You have to ask yourself, like, OK, if I'm investing money, what coin can be here in the next decade? Because it won't be a lot of them, guys. A lot of these coins are going to fail in within a decade. So, and I do believe ICP will be the one to stand the test of time. If we just go on a monthly, we can see the actual patterns over here. We can see that it's a clear downtrend. We are actually making lower lows and lower highs. And we are actually, it looks like we can approach the $10 range. That's why I'm saying to you guys, things are going to get worse. I'm not saying that to fud the bag or get you scared. I'm just saying things could get worse because when we look at Bitcoin, what's the next catalyst? Repeat, what's the next catalyst? The halving is over. The ETF is over now. So it's like, what's the next thing to take Bitcoin to that next level um, unorganically, artificially? A lot of these pumps were artificial pumps and I do believe they were made by the whales and the whales have made millions in this pump. So it's to the point where once we know the whales have made millions in this pump, a lot of them are going to start selling now because it's to the point where they were buying at like 15K, 20K. So they are still in major profits. So I had to make this quick video to warn you guys that, yeah, things can get worse for ICP. But when it comes to things getting worse, I'm talking about the price action could get cheaper. So what does that mean? We can buy more ICP for very, very cheap. So shout out to ICP for being cheap and on sale because it allows me to actually buy more. And with that being said, it was actually young wealth if you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button hit the subscribe button also if you want to be part of my patreon on my discord chat my group chat just join the patreon link in the description it's dirt cheap to join and once you get over there you're learning about different gems anyway so you're making that money back that you invested into the patreon so with that being said want to be part of the discord group chat join the patreon link in the description and it was young wealth and i'm signing out with another video peace